Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Ninja Skittle, and um, I'm got a gameplay commentary for you guys. I go 12 and 1 with the Scar H Red Dot and a Search and Destroy on Invasion. Um, what I'm gonna talk about in this game is how to get high, uh, how to get high scores, and how to do good. In my one for two, Search and Destroy, more or less Search and Destroy. Um, so the first and probably most important thing is cautiousness. Being cautious, there's a difference between being cautious and camping. Camping is where you sit in a corner and you wait for the kills to come to you. Playing cautiously is making sure that any gunfights that you get into are on your own terms. What I mean by that is, you see him first and you already have your sights on him by the time he's just now starting to shoot. That's what I mean by on your own terms. You want to make sure all your gunfights are on your own terms because if they're not, you run the risk of losing your gunfight. Another thing is you slot a hand. Um, if you're playing search and destroy, you slot a hand with an assault rifle. SMG doesn't matter. It will really help, trust me. Because uh, I don't think I get into any of them this round, but I get into constantly getting into battles where I kill the guy, someone else is coming for me, but I'm out of ammo, and I reload, and I end up dying because I'm reloading. So, basically, by me, uh, instead of me just slowly reloading and having more ammo, I get to reload really quickly. Which is, I think, a pretty big advantage. Um, but right here, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect example of having the gun, your gun battles on your own terms. He, I saw him first, and I had my sights on him by the time he even t decided to think about shooting at me. There's my only death, and that is one of those deaths that I just say, you know, not my fault. It's not my fault at all. Um, that's camping. The guy was camping there, so. I can't help it, but not a big deal. So, I've talked about being cautious and keeping the gunfights on your own terms. Now I'm going to talk about um, weapon, weapon choices and weapon attachments and just your overall class selection. Um, in this round, I'm using the Scar H Red Dot, as I said before. I have a secondary Spaz 12, but I don't ever believe I use it. I might. Don't quote me on that. I don't think I do, though. And I make a class. And basically, um, you want to, it, it can work either way. You can either make your perks, your perk loadout, and then create a gun a weapon loadout to um, work in harmony or work together with your perk. Or you can make your gun and then find perks that work well with that gun. So do either one of them, but just make sure you do that. Don't throw, like if you intend on quick scoping. And you make your guns first. Don't put, don't put scavenger stopping. I mean, scavenger hardline and freaking scrambler pro or something like that. Don't do that because you're. It's not gonna help. But if you're gonna have quick scope, slide a hand stopping power, steady aim or ninja. Um, that's just the the, the most sensible perks. Um, another thing, cold blood is important. I would. I usually use cold blooded with my scar H's, but. Um, I was level 16 or 17 in this realm, and right here, you see me looking in the sky, don't know if you heard or not, enemy UAV was called in. So, um, this guy standing in front of me, he, uh, he, I didn't ever get his messages, it never popped up that, uh, he had sent me a message, but, um, he, he doesn't have a microphone, but he was sending me messages telling me stuff like, okay, boss, tell me whatever, tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it, or stuff like that. Just really, I don't know, if you guys can read his name, uh, might be too bad quality to read it, um, shout out to you, <laughs> if you watch this video, which I doubt you will, um, but, yeah, right here, okay, alright, back to the topic, what was I talking about, I had a brain fart, um, hold on you guys, I gotta figure out what I was just talking about, okay, I remembered, um, I was talking about, uh, perks, and what I would use, usually, with this weapon, now, uh, at the time, the red dot was the highest attachment I had for it. I'd silencer. Um, my normal class that I would usually use, use with this, if I'm playing search and destroy, is slide of hand, cold blooded, and ninja. Uh, but I don't have cold blooded or ninja. But in the, if I was playing a um, say team deathmatch, it'd be scavenger, cold blooded, and possibly steady aim or ninja, one of the two. So, um, here, I do the smart thing and call my care package, wait around to call my care package instead of just calling it in and possibly risk dying. Um, so, yeah, um, 
I believe I use yeah, I use my predator missile here in just a second, but I was talking about that, so the reason I'll do that is because this weapon is extremely powerful. If none if you guys if there's somebody out there who's never used it, just try it out. Trust me, the iron sights are amazing in my opinion. But just use it. Just try it out for the first time. I reckon slot a hand, I've already said that before. Um, but just just try it because it's a really good weapon if you actually use it and it's extremely powerful. So it doesn't need stopping power necessarily. So most of the time I'll use um, cold blooded or hardline or something along those lines, but um, yeah, so now what I'm going to talk about is, right here, bad decision. Luckily, I was hiding behind a sofa, which somehow blocks the, um, it, it blocks the, <laughs> I don't know how that worked out. I was sitting behind a sofa, and it, I guess it blocked my, blocked the huge explosion from a missile fired from above from hitting me, which sounds very unrealistic now that I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to wallbang this guy, me and this other guy. Then I realized he was down there, and I believe, yeah, one of them gets the kill here. Um, they they go ahead and finish him off. And so we're on uh, offense. So there's one guy left, I believe, at this point. And we're just like, all right, we got B basically on control. Everyone, everybody on our team was pretty much around B. So we figured, all right, it's safe to do it. Right here, close encounter. All right. See my teammate die. For some reason decided to sprint. I would have died there if he wasn't using rangers. I know for a fact he's using rangers, and um, he decided he's going to fire all four shots, which is a dumb thing to do with the rangers. Don't do that. If you're using ranger kimbos, um, you can kill the guy. Believe it or not, so this may be a surprise to some of you, but you can kill the guy by firing one barrel of it. I thought this kill cam was hilarious. <laughs> I'm laughing at it right now. I don't know if you can hear me, but that was hilarious to me. I don't know if that guy was just trying to stalk him and like get a funny kill cam, but it ended up tables turned on him. He got a funny kill cam made on him. So I pick up the bomb here, and picking up the bomb, if you do it, you make a devote. Um, you devote yourself to being a team sport, but do making a team effort basically. You pick up the bomb. You can't camp. I mean, if you do, you're just you're pretty much not. It's not a really good idea to camp with the bomb. Um, you're you're gonna one get your teammates mad because you're wasting basically you're just wasting the uh, bomb whenever they could be over there planning so I pick up the bomb in here try to make a push for B and like I said I'm going 12 and 1 in this round and I got 10 kills like right now I think or 11 or something like that and um, I'm just pushing you know this guy he teleports back there um, I don't know if you guys saw that rewind a little bit if you didn't that looked pretty cool but I see him he checks that way so I know where it's clear to go so I'm looking over here, making sure I always check corners. Check corners are very important. This is another spot people like to use to watch B. And I lay down, uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw this guy. TTG Brave is his name. TTG, yeah, I think TTG Brave. He does that. Oh, oh crap, I'm out of time. So I was about to plant the bomb there, but I saw him trying to ninja defuse or something like that. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> right now I'm, I'm saying I'm going to use that as a gameplay commentary. Oh, yeah. But, um, so, yeah, if you like this commentary, uh, subscribe. End score is 12, 1, and 1. Level 20, 5th prestige. And I'll see you guys in my next commentary. Bye.